It is once again Wednesday, meaning we have another Padres news and rumors video. It's going to be a fun one. We got a lot to talk about. How's it going, everyone? My name is Fan Fryer. Welcome back to another Padres news and rumors video. If you guys are excited for this 2023 season, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as hit that like button. We got a decent amount to talk about. There's a lot of moving pieces regarding the San Diego Padres. It's going to be an interesting day. We got a lot to talk about. The first thing I'm going to discuss and kind of random is Rafael Devers signing with the Red Sox is a big effect on the Padres. I feel like there was a chance, you know, there was even articles posted even of us possibly trading for Rafael Devers if he didn't get that extension. As well as don't forget, we have a third baseman that can leave after next season and Manny Machado. So it'll be very, very interesting to see how this plays effect. Machado's going to get more money. It's going to probably change Preller's attack strategy this offseason. I think adding Rafael Devers definitely would have been an overkill, but there's nothing wrong with an overkill if it ends up giving you a World Series. I mean, all around a great signing by the Red Sox, but that's not what we're here to discuss today. Today, we're going to be talking about the Padres, of course. I mean, it's, it's going to be interesting to see how it affects Machado. Is Machado going to want more per year now? Is Machado going to want more years? I mean, Rafael Devers was only 26 when he signs this extension, so I don't think it'll play that big of an effect. But being linked to him and a couple of other things, it's worth taking note of Rafael Devers' extension. Now, when I started this series with the Padres rumors, the first person I talked about that I personally wanted, we weren't even linked to at that point, was AJ Pollock. Well, guess what? The times have changed. AJ Pollock is now linked to the San Diego Padres. There's multiple articles posted this morning when I woke up. Many Dodger reporters reporting this more than any other team. Dodger reporters, you know, they've been kind of, they've been sniffing the Padres a bit. If you get what I'm saying here, they're talking about, is it possible to trade for Hassan Kim, which won't make sense. Trading inner division, inner rival, very unlikely. So I'm going to deny that for now. But it's very, very interesting to talk about it. They think that AJ probably could be a, you know, AJ Pollock could be a target for us. I would love AJ Pollock. He fits perfectly. He's the exact lineup piece we need. He can play center field. He can play left field. He can DH. He has amazing stats versus lefty pitchers. He's exactly what we need to bottom out the lineup, create a balance. AJ Pollock, a great option. Obviously, Jerks and Profar is still a possibility. I would never doubt Jerks and Profar's want to come back to the San Diego Padres. I think an outfielder is going to be a necessity. And that's where things get interesting because well, we need a starting pitcher. We need an outfielder. We technically only have six million more to spend before we go to the next threshold. And everyone goes, hey, we're not going over 273. Well, we're now back in the news for Johnny Cueto. It's between us and the Marlins, supposedly. And us being in that news, Johnny Cueto is not going to get six million a year, guys. He's going to get nine to probably upwards of even $14 million for this year. Just because of that, I'm going to say this, we're probably going to go over that luxury tax threshold, allowing us to spend more money, allowing us to maybe get, you know, Cueto and an AJ Pollock. Now we're not looking at one or the other here. We're not holding our pennies. We're not pinching the pennies because let's be honest here. It only makes sense if we're willing to spend at least 9 million on Johnny Cueto when we technically only have 6 million more to spend. This is a deal that we would have to make. You'd have to go up a luxury tax threshold. At this point, I think... If we're going to make one of those moves, another move is going to come with it. There's a lot of money involved, and we're kind of trying to stay in that pinch and stay under the 273 because that's just easier for the team. You don't have to pay as much of a tax on it, obviously. Very, very interesting stuff. I mean, honestly, I would have never expected us to go as far as we have. I was even surprised the first time we went over the luxury tax. I was like, wow, we're, we're legit going all in now. And now we're talking about, hey, how far can we run up the luxury tax? Because at first it was like, hey, let's go over it. You know, that's that was the discussion. The Dodgers were trying to reset the luxury tax. Speaking of luxury tax teams, now we're talking about how far over we can go. Of course, we're not in the Steve Cohen bracket money-wise. But besides that, I mean, hey, we're starting to get to the point where we're talking about how much more can we go and we're getting towards the top. I mean, we're probably going to be a top three to five team in payroll. So, you know, adding a Johnny Cueto, who's another guy we were relinked to, re-talking about, would be very, very interesting because I'm interested in what the money's going to look like. Obviously, the money's part of the equation. Baseball's a business at the end of the day. Pete Seiler doesn't seem to care about how much money he spends, but we never thought we could hit, reach this height. Being linked to Johnny Cueto is definitely interesting. We haven't really heard too much about other free agent pitching options. Not really a Michael Walker, not really anyone else. And it seems like talks, yes, they are going on between us and the Marlins. 
but they're not at a point where we want them to be if we want to make one of those contracts. And that kind of brings me up to the next point. I was reading Dennis Lynn's article December 29th posted. Dennis Lynn said that the Padres are more than willing to trade away Trent Grisham or Ha Song Kim. More likely Grisham because he fits the mindset for the Marlins with the Marlins need. Of course, I think it's going to take a little more than Trent Grisham. I've discussed this many times on my YouTube channel. And we're willing to do it. I see a lot of people ask, how, where do you see this? Um, it's very, very simple. It's, it's Dennis Lynn's most recent article, by the way. So the exact quote is this. Industry sources, however, have indicated the San Diego Padres are open to discussing either player, being Ha Sung Kim or Trent Grisham. In a particular Marlins flush with the starting pitching, one team that makes sense as a trade partner, the Padres have expressed an interest in right-hander Pablo Lopez and many other possibilities. And he goes on to say this, less clear perhaps is the trade market for Grisham and Kim. The Marlins' biggest need is offense and neither hitter is a sure bet to produce. Of course, this is true. They're mainly known for their defense. Grisham's value plunged in 2022. He batted 184, including only 199 against fastballs. Kim demonstrates significant improvement from his rookie campaign, but hasn't reached his ceiling yet that we had dream of. I added that kind of at the end because that, in my personal opinion, he hasn't added to the ceiling that we dream of and where we want him to be. But yes, it isn't just smoke and mirrors. I know a lot of people, when I talk about this possibility of trading away Grisham or Kim, they, first of all, they tell me it's not realistic. Clearly it's realistic. Dennis Lynn, the beat writer for the athletic for the San Diego Padres is mentioning it and that he's not on the trading block. I don't think trading blocks are a real term, by the way. Trading blocks, sort of like a term in a video game or a fantasy, but more than open to trading is about as close as you can get, in my opinion. But that is going to wrap up this week's edition of Padres News and Rumors. If you are yet to hit that subscribe button, I highly recommend you do so. Same thing with that like button. I'll see you guys, I'll see you guys all in a video very, very soon. Peace. Yes. <laughs> To the 619, baby. Let's go. Let's go, San Diego. Lift that shit up, San Diego. Let's fucking go. Woo! It's our fucking house. Hey. It's our house right here, baby. Let's I go. Love